number of lawmakers in the U.S. House of Representatives stated that the U.S. Air Force USAF would rather retire the A-10 Thunderbolt to Warthog attack jet than stop operating the aging F-22 Raptor stealth fighter jet. Parliament also said it would support the purchase of more F-15EX fighter jets than previously planned. The proposed Fiscal Year 2025 National Defense Authorization Act NDAA, currently being considered by the House Armed Services Committee, would allow the USAF to reduce 56 A-10 Warthog attack jets. USAF previously submitted a proposal to retire approximately 250 aircraft in fiscal year 25 as a measure to save more than US$2 billion. United States. The reduction in the aircraft fleet includes 32 F-22 Block 20 jets, which the USAF said would be too expensive to maintain. The USAF also plans to stop purchasing Boeing-built F-15EXs after FY-5, limiting the entire Eagle to program to 98 units. This number means 6 units less than the total of 100 for units planned. However, the NDAA discussed by the committee would overturn both decisions. The fiscal year 23 NDA would reject the USAF's proposal to retire Block 20 F-22s by 2027. A congressional official said Tuesday that the latest bill would keep the provision in place, thereby undoing a reduction in F-22 numbers, as reported by Defense News. A U.S. congressional staffer noted that lawmakers considered the F-22 despite its high costs associated with combat preparation still relevant for future combat. They are still the best air superiority jets we have in the world today, the official said. The NDAA will also temporarily halt the U.S. Air Force's plans to retire 26 F-15E Strike Eagles whose engines are less effective. The jets could only be retired six months after the Pentagon presented a study showing how many fighters the USAF needed to meet combat requirements. The official said the F-15E would be needed if a war against China occurs at the end of the decade. The retirement of other aircraft requested by the USAF includes 65 F-15C and F-15D Eagles and 11 F-16 Fighting Falcons to be approved in the NDA, the official said. The USAF argues the A-10 attack aircraft would be too vulnerable in a fight against advanced adversaries and wants to retire its entire fleet by 2029. The NDAA will also add back to $171 million to purchase 24 additional F-15EX jets by 2026 and keep Boeing's production line for upgraded fourth-generation jets active.